Hey everybody, it's Peter Henry Anderson from Cisco Meraki, aka Mr. Meraki, bringing a new video on APIs, how to get started. It's a really basic video on how to collect things uh, using API calls in Postman and how to create and how to delete. So you can get the basic uh, essentials of using APIs and advance from there. Here we are at the Cisco Meraki.io webpage, Cisco Meraki DevNet Developer Hub. And if we go into Docs, you can see getting started, there's dashboard APIs, webhooks, captive portal, location services, which is the scanning API, utilized from the Cisco Meraki access points, and MB Sense is the API used with the smart cameras contacting the MQTC broker, and I'm seeing a lot of cool stuff being created there, so really check that one out. <clears throat> if we're going to getting started, you can see the Cisco Meraki one-on-one video. Take a look at that, and I'm just gonna hover down slightly, <clears throat> and you can see how you're gonna get hands-on using basic API calls, and you can advance from there. So we need a variable when we go into Postman and create our environment, and we're gonna go into this from Rocky dashboard into your profile, and we're gonna create an API key, which is shown here. So if I hover down, we can continue to the full tutorial, and you can see we've created these eight modules and you basically go through them step by step at your own pace. I'm going to show you really, really quick how it's done. So now we're going to jump into my Cisco Rock dashboard and you can see all my networks are listed here. We go to the top right, hit your email, go into my profile. And we're going to go down and you can see I've created two API keys, which I've just accessed recently because I did some testing. You're going to do the same, copy that API key. You're going to go into Postman and you're going to go up to this tab and you're going to go in and create an environment. You, you will create an environment by hitting the gear and we're going to just going to jump into this Meraki API and you put in the X Meraki X Cisco Meraki API key variable. If we're going to put in your API key from the dashboard here and here and update. And now you're basically ready to go and contact the Cisco Meraki dashboard, your account to get your information, which you have in your Cisco Meraki dashboard. So <clears throat> before we do that, uh, I'm just going to show you how fast we develop APIs uh, in Cisco Meraki. It's really, really amazing and it's really, really fast. Uh, I've been monitoring this since January 2018 and we had about 100 API requests uh, that can be done calls. Uh, so here you can see network, we have get, put commands, post, delete commands. And it's basically how you create, update uh, and delete uh, a network into your dashboard. So October, <clears throat> uh, hang on a second, yeah, there it was. So October 2018, we have produced 50% more API calls uh, customers can utilize. Uh, I just pulled a list yesterday. So uh, at about now 2020 January, we have 332 API calls we can utilize into the Cisco Meraki dashboard, which is amazing pace we've done here. Uh, and it just goes to show the, the fastness of uh, the growth of Cisco Meraki. So jump on the API train, uh, you will not be disappointed and uh, take you into the API world of coolness. For this session, I've created eight requests. So we have a lot of guest get commands, a post, delete and a put. Uh, so I'm going to create and I'm going to delete the network and you can take it from there. But, and then you have the basics. So first I want to get my organization number so I can contact my organization uh, and you utilize this command. So it's a get command and we have this URL string. So dashboard meraki.com API v0 organization. If I hit send, it's going to take the API key, go to this URL and it's going to say, I have this API key and the dashboard's going to say, that's really cool because that matches mine. And I'm going to let you in and I'm going to show you all the organizations that are, are bound to that API key. And I have a lot, so I'm not going to do that because that is for me only. But I know my, my own number for my testing labs. So we're just going to shut that one down and we're going to go into networks. So list networks in my organization. So my organization number is this number. And I got that from pulling that list. So if we put in this get command dashboard.meraki API v0 organization, 
organization number slash networks and the right API key and hit send, it's going to contact the dashboard and say, give me the networks in that organization. And the dashboard says, of course. So we got a status 200. It's okay. It took under a thousand milliseconds and was about four kilobytes of data. So it doesn't really uh, <coughs> use that much data uh, in the dashboard using the shard, uh, the sharding technology, which sends it you know, used to create the uh, this is Meraki dashboard engine, which is uh, amazing in itself. Uh, so now, okay, uh, we have a network ID and we have an organization ID. So the ID is for the network called Meraki Grid Skyport Legacy. And your organization ID is going to be the same for each network because it's in the organization, but they're going to have different IDs for the network. So if I go down this list, it's actually going to match up 100% with view all networks in my Cisco Market dashboard. There you go. So here we have the Skyport legacy. So now we're going to create a network and it will hopefully be created in the dashboard automatically. So if we go to post, you can see I have a post command, https slash n57.market.com. N57 is really important. So if you go to your dashboard and you go to your, the URL, you can see you have an N and a number, 200 something or uh, below 100. Let's say you're in the US or in Europe, uh, that number defines which data center you're on and which shard your account resides on which UCS Blade server it's uh, your account is on. So mine is N57, which is in Frankfurt. So I have shard N57, uh, which is one of the, the earlier ones. So we're gonna jump back, back to Postman, put N57 in, and we're gonna put in my organization number so it know, now it knows exactly to contact that server shard in Frankfurt N57 and pull up that uh, organization and that and create a network inside and I have the right API key of course. So we're going to body uh, and this is actually where we type in what our network is uh, is going to be named and which time zone and uh, I want to tag and uh, it's going to be a wireless network. I just put in one two three so you can actually basically see that it will create something I typed and now we're just going to hit send and we get a command back, 201 created. It took 1600 milliseconds. And now we will go into the dashboard and refresh the browser and you will see API 123, test home and a tag and a wireless network has been created. So if I go back to the networking list and you can see we're in the bottom, it's not there. Then we're just going to do a send command again to get an update. We're going to go into the bottom and you can see that API 123 test home is there and it has a network ID. So now I want to delete it. So I put in a delete command. And we're basically just going to put in the network ID of the new API test 123 and we have the right API key and we're going to do a send. And basically now we're getting a, giving a command to the dashboard saying, please delete, delete that network. And we get a status 204 <clears throat> and it took almost 2000 milliseconds. And if we go back to the dashboard and refresh the browser, it's going to be gone. There you go. Please bear in mind, bear in mind when you delete networks uh, using APIs, it's going to do it. Um, it's, it's just going to do it. You know, you're not going to get a second chance. Like uh, we give you a seven ch second chance uh, in the uh, the the, uh, the dashboard. Let's say I uh, push this network, uh, give it a check mark, and I say delete. And it's actually going to say, "Are you sure you're going to do that?" Yes, I'm sure. And I hit delete. When you use APIs, you don't get any second chance. It basically just uh, does it. Thanks for watching. Uh, get going with the APIs. You're going to have an amazing time. See you next. Bye.